Hey guys, it's Maverick. Welcome back to some more Sly Cooper 3. We're back. Thank you guys for... We've been growing a bit recently. Thank you very much if you came from that Reddit post. That's probably where everyone came. If I didn't share it, who knows if this would have been found. But, we're back. Let's, let's wait for this dog real quick. Let's wait for Snoop Dog. Alright. Um, I want to thank you for joining me on this journey so far. If you don't know the story of Sly Cooper or you're playing because, uh... I'm playing because I want to see someone else play this amazing series or, you know, whatever reason you're here for. I want to thank you very much. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Hopefully you can like this video. Get it up there. I don't really have a, a set tax number. Just taking a look around here. So, I was wrong. A boss battle was not going to trigger. It's like, see, we got like three more keys, then we'll fight him. Mugshot in this episode. Last episode, I had to name it that. What, what am I ever gonna name a? You look at that ugly mug. I am, and I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My X-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. I'm on it. If you saw their heads, shout out to. Oh, sorry, I forgot your name. Um, he said that um, if you move their, if you move the analog sticks, their heads move when he's in that, you know, when they're talking, that type of phase when they're talking. So I don't know if you noticed that. If you want to rewind it, that guy's watching it like, watching it like a hound. I don't know what I was going with that. Never mind. Oh, all right, he's gonna see me. All right. It's like I didn't even need to hide. Two to tango. What was this even gonna do? Ah, okay. I just wanna say Ratchet and Clank uh, is updating. Yeah, your time passed, bud. Your days are over. We have the Sly, new Sly Funko Pop. Really cool. Two to tango. Yeah, shared this on Reddit. Rooftops are filthy. Well, they are the only way to get to the key, since my locator tells me it's in a jewel case somewhere near Mugshot's penthouse. This guy just doesn't stop. How, 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 many, how, many, how many deck of cards this guy has? Oh, that's close. All right, so. I noticed off camera. Oh my well, god. Well, well, look who just walked into my crosshairs. Sly Cooper. About time you showed up, Miss Fox. Was getting worried about you. Hey. Thought you took a wrong turn somewhere back in Paris. The only one making wrong turns is you, Sly. I'd suggest you surrender before I paralyze you with my good friend, the shock pistol. Now see, a girl whose best friend's a firearm's got issues. A little <laughs> dinner, a little dancing. I think I can help you out. Hmm, sounds romantic. As long as you don't mind dining in jail. Nah, I hear the service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. You won't catch me, because I'm Sly Cooper. The Thievius Raccoonus on a mission. Come on, that's all you got. Do better than that. Oh crap, catch him over there! The casino. Use it when you're. What your old grand uh, parents did. He jumped on rooftops. Go, Sly, go! Screw the coins. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Okay. I like how Sly is, you know. Does he really like her? Or is he just, you know, silver tonguing her? That's not a dirty term. If you know what it means, you know what it means. Silver tongue, t silver tongue is like, um, you could persuade people a lot. Or, you know, you, you use your mouth to, like, you use, whoa, okay. We have a golden horseshoe. Let's not, let's use it on the boss, not here. Where'd I go? Yeah, Sly Cooper, um, don't think I have a set. I still don't know where to rank them on my tier list of games. Whoa! 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 Holy cow, that was kind of loud. A little jump scare there. I like how he's trying to be romantic with her. Oh, crap. 
Now she's kind of trying, or I'm messing up. He doesn't have a shadow, so I can't tell if he's standing above the platform or not. Okay, now he has a shadow. Jump! What the heck? What the heck? Okay. I know I pressed circle. She won't give up. You can't catch Sly Cooper. That's the thing. You just can't catch him. You can't catch a thief. The best in his generation. Oh, thank I'm you. I'm gonna hunt you down, Cooper. You can't run forever. Are you floating? Oh. The kid has jumped off or something. Nice. Mugshot turf. So, you know, people are saying, you know, Sly 2 is the best Sly Cooper. Um, I think. You know, I'm not going to give him a series, but I think I'll, I'll do a stream series. So if you go to my description... If I beat this game, of course I have another game after that I'll play for YouTube, but in my, you know, in the moment that I stream, I'll do Sly Cooper 2 and follow my Twitch down below, keep your know, notifications on, back alley heist. Um, keep notifications on and I'll uh, do, I'll play it only when I stream, so. Cause you know, I just wanted to play Sly 1, that's it. These bottles are for like, if we got them all, it gives us like a new ability or something. Which we probably need, but I don't care. Hopefully it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, there's something to my right, but that's okay. I don't know how to hit me. I'll take it. Don't know what's happening here. down but you know his games are um, very creative these games are very creative and even today I think it plays fine of course the movement could be a bit better but this is a game that you could play today and it was good as long as you don't care about graphics but I, I don't care about I only care about um I don't care about graphics I only care about uh, I don't know how that doesn't see us I only care about gameplay, because that's what we come for, right? Unless you're different. Is that Sly? Why does that look like Sly? Screw the alarm. The little thingy. Don't care about those. <clears throat> Uh, what's happening here? I don't know what's happening. We don't have to fight you. You have to get out of the way. <clears throat> Wait, did he just get drunk because I touched that? You heard that, right? Uh, what's happening? What the hell? <clears throat> I touched a bottle and he made like a burping sound, so he, he drank. Game is good. I don't know how Sly Cooper doesn't have um, a new game. He had a, like a trilogy for PS4, like a remaster, which is this, I think. It was this, I think. All right, what's up? I think we got all. Of oh, no, we need one more. Straight to the top. <clears throat> how do we get there? Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, it's okay. I think it's this guy. Yeah. Couldn't get past him. Oh, there's a freaking mattress here. My bad. I have a prediction here. Since I never played Sly Cooper, here's my prediction. I want to pause real quick here. Or is he going to talk? Alright. Here's my prediction. <clears throat> oh, this music's so loud. My prediction is, see, we, we fought a frog at the start, and then when we beat him, 
he happened to take the page about jumping. You know how frogs jump and leap? So now that we beat him, we have an ability that lets us leap on poles and, and perch up on, on things. So I think if we beat uh, Mugshot, you know, he's all strong. So maybe we'll have a powerful ability. That's my prediction. I think I'm going to be right. We'll see. Or it's just a coincidence. Who, who knows? See those oh, there's the key. Tubes? I know they look like you can't climb on them, but with your thieving skills, I bet you can pull it off. So I can do anything. You know, when it comes to, you know, thieves, I love stealth games. This game's not really... It's somewhat stealth. I'm more of a dishonored type of guy. <clears throat> that sounded weird because I had to clear my throat. But anyway, um, what does it say? Mugshot? Wait for it. Alright, anyway. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Dang it. Ah, uh, it's going to bother me. Whatever. <sighs> Tell me who. Man, he had no reaction to that. You heard that? These enemies are too easy, though. <clears throat> Tell you that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't know if those are worth it. Oh, I almost jumped. I almost ran into that. We've been holding on to this horseshoe for quite some time, so that's pretty good. Alright, we have to go back. Seems we have to climb. <clears throat> but I hope in this episode that we can defeat Mugshot. Oh, I thought I was going to climb on that for some reason. I got a voiceover message for the 2-bit thief who's making off with all my treasure keys. The 2-bit thief? Your lunch break, kid. Oh, uh, and I messed that up. I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. <clears throat> How many cars does this guy have? How many fucking... No, I didn't cast. I didn't cast. How many deck of cars does this guy got? Oh, I see. We're going to drop this. How did he... With his own weight? How did he do that? There we go. That's the idea. <clears throat> Can you get the key? Alright. I wonder why Slide 2 is better. I think because you can play as uh, Bentley and... Like, legitimately play as Bentley and uh, Murray. Alright, so we got all the keys. They say the story is the best out of all of them. I think they say the third is second. Second game is first, and then this one's like third. But usually the first is better. But interesting to see that, or interesting to hear that the second <coughs> is the best. <coughs> oh, wait, we're looking for his, that smug face. We're about to face mugshot, so. Oh, wait, where's that door? Oh, it's over there. I just realized in the past episodes when I was editing, you guys never got to see like the key icon or the. Uh, the coin icon. Alright, so anyway. It's lagging for some weird reason. I don't know why it does this. It's weird. It's really lagging right now. Think I need to restart? Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Alright guys, here we go, mugshot. Let's see if he's a pushover. <clears throat> Last call. What? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around <laughs> cracking skulls and, <laughs> and and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. Hey, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow! You're a Cooper? 
You know, that Singus Rakamagookus had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what, are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! Fine. Is that good? Alright, here we go. Okay, we can't destroy them. I got a feeling we have to destroy these gems. And I just took damage. Why don't you try <clears throat> hitting some of those mirrors? That may redirect the sunlight to your advantage. Jeez, dude. Yeah, but which one? And I'm dead. What? I really want to curse so bad right now. I really want to. Okay, I see these mirrors. There we go. But I already died. Alright, give me a second to figure this crap out. Alright, we got him. <clears throat> My beautiful gun is destroyed. <laughs> Good thing I got a spare upstairs. Sounds pretty soft for how bulky, bulky he is. Alright. When this guy shoots, that's it. Okay, I have to jump. Okay, so... No, the last hit hit me. All right, here we go. They gave us a horseshoe because of how bad we're doing. This reminds me of Donkey Kong. When he shoots, you jump. That's it. I hope I can't fall. Oh, that would have been something if that last hit, last shot hit me. But how does light destroy his guns? I never would have expected this. That should be it. This doesn't make any sense. Our dogs, the dogs don't care for light. I don't understand why light is hurting him. Oh. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, he shoots him off. Is it timed? All right. He's focused on. Oh no, 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 we're in the game, we're in the game. This gives us cover though. But we can't let him, you know. I understand that. Are you kidding me? That that that's really rigged. That was really bad. I'll bring her back when I beat this freaking. Oh my god. We're gonna beat him now. Uh, I'm just gonna cut it back in. I know how to beat him. You could go very quick here. You don't have to double jump. Just watch. You just like quickly do it. And you'll make it in time. You have to let him shoot though. So I'm behind the mirror. And he shoots. After I just flipped it, he flips it back. <clears throat> they should have picked a Doberman. You know, not, not a Bulldog. And, and his, he sounds kind of wimpy, not gonna lie. He's trying to be threatening. But why does light hurt him? It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. See ya. This is impossible. A little pipsqueak like you, beating a big strong bruiser like me. It ain't right. Give him a bone. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And then believe you me, you don't want to be you. The mugshot section of Ephibius Raccoonus contained an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the Old West. Okay, it's not what I thought. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and dragged that canine steroid case off to jail. 
That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. All right. So, you guys are from Paris? Not, um... What's it called? You're not from, uh, America. So they had to visit America. Okay, so I was wrong with the whole theory. Frog jumps, we can jump and perch. But it was more sliding. This guy didn't really slide. You can see the thing, the treasures they brought back, brought back with them. Um, all right, so we, what was this? Uh, this wasn't Paris, was it? I don't know where it was. This is in America I somewhere. A way to get us to Haiti. Haiti. Let's see what Murray's up to. And he's playing a looks like PlayStation One or something. So let's go to Haiti. Miss Ruby's next. The third member of the fiendish five was the infamous voodoo priestess Miss Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. All right. Sly Cooper in. Vicious voodoo. Oh, it's even a little puppet of him. All right. I did hear one thing in the past that I heard that this boss was really bad or something like that. Some, something about this boss was like unfair or something. Let's get a feel for these. So we're in the swamps. Yes, I wanted to learn Sorry, a new ability. Get their heads. Me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is... Jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And we're in super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss. You'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Alright. Oh, that's not what I expected, but okay. I expect him to like really rail. Oh, like that. What was it called? The pipe walk? You can do the pipe. Whoa! What? What? I hit that. That's stupid. I gotta rewatch that. I guess I'll, I don't even know why I'm going for those. Bug mosquitoes and everything. I wish it'd make a sound. It's kind of missing like a sound as we're like railing it. Right behind the waterfall. It makes no noise. Same like if it's like if it's not going downhill, he just kinda, you know, sneaks on it. Pretty cool. Okay, you are nothing. Checkpoint's back there. Am I supposed to go up here? <clears throat> There's two of them. Who says I gotta fight you? What the hell is this guy? I call bull. Uh, 
I just went for it. That was lucky. Dead. It's for cost of my horseshoe. No problem. Don't get cocky or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've got to get past those voodoo guards. And I'm warning you, they're made and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. All right. There's only one of them. Now they're showing up. I hope they don't relight them. Don't piss me off. That's three. Four, five. Okay, I see it. Nice. Feels like Pac Man for some reason. The Mojo Force Field is down, and you can steal the key. He's, why does he sound like he's always sick? Reminds me of uh, Chucky from Rugrats. He's got that voice where he sounds like he's sick all the time. But it's not annoying. Gives him character. Alright. Miss Voodoo. Let's see what's up with her levels. The Swamp's Dark Center. Alright. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. And the way we do that is get keys, like all the other uh, levels we've been doing. Alright, here we are. That was kind of bad, but whatever. I feel like I can't pass this. No, I can't. All right. I'll do one more level, get one more key, and then I'm going to cut it here. Don't slip right under him. I don't know. I can't really control that. That was kind of weird. All right, the Lair of the Beast. Let's see what's what's the Lair of the Beast. It's gonna be like an arena. It might be. Let's see. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Let's find out. The key. She's trying to keep it in. These freaking candles. Climb it. You know, slide was more famous. I could see like a for like a merch idea. I could see his uh, staff being a thing. Take them all out. Nice. <clears throat> They were scary at first, not anymore. There you go. Yes, good job. No, I fell. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the horseshoe. The way you said that, you better get going. 
Alright. This level's okay for now. I, I think I probably like Mugshot the best. His like level, his map, I like his map the best. It was, like, it was a casino, it had really cool uh, levels. The first one had the submarine level, which is pretty cool. Oh crap. They're pulling a, a Crash Bandicoot. <sighs> yeah, it, it feels like this needs a remaster, you know, because th this game does feel a bit outdated with its um, movement. No, dude. All right, we'll cut it back. Can this end? Oh. That's it, it just goes down. <sighs> Another key for Sly Cooper. The Swamp Stark Center, all right. <clears throat> I feel like the, it's getting harder, the game. And we, what, what's next after this, actually? That's one key. We need more, though. Could it be this? I heard something over here. We'll just leave it for the, the next guy in the next episode. So, Sly Cooper. This, I want to say A tier, I think. Not 100. Yeah, it, it ain't no B tier, I don't think. It's pretty dang good. I love the, you know, the levels. Do I want to say eventful levels? No, I don't know what I'm trying to go at. Yeah. Just the, some of the creative levels in this game. I like uh, Sly talking to uh, the fox, I forgot her name. He's trying to hunt him down. He just can't seem to catch him and he's whim whimsical or I don't know. Knows how to get himself out of situations. But why did he destroy that chimney, though? That's what I said in the first episode. I guess it's just for, like, cool, you know, cool effects. Make it look like a bad, bad ash. I could say that. So, this was Sly Cooper Episode 3. Thank you guys very much for subscribing, liking recently. Uh, we'll keep on going with Sly Cooper. Um, I predict, like, Episode 10 will be the finale. Then uh, I hope you click the bell as well, because in in um, what's called what, something that I do, you can watch my channel trailer. It's called a monthly update. We talk about you know update to this channel and get new games possibly coming to uh, that I'll be playing on this channel. This game had a uh, it, uh, how do I explain? Just watch my channel trailer. Uh, when I reveal new games, it's in a fashion of a trailer. So and you can follow Twitter link in the description below. That has this uh, this is Gen 22. I think. No, it's Gen 23. Just look for Gen 23 reveal trailer. And that's my Sly Cooper. Well, that's my take on revealing Sly Cooper as my next game. And he's on the roster too, so. Um, but yeah, monthly update. I'll be revealing uh, four new games. Four for the first time ever. The most I've ever done was two. But four. I can confirm four new games coming up. So we'll see you guys in the future videos to come. Peace out.